Woo! Morning guys, I've just got up. Oh, I look terrible, don't look. But we're going to see the Queen. Let's go get the flight. We're going to see Madonna. Oi, oi, everybody comes to Hollywood. No, I'm not going to Hollywood, am I? I'm going to New York. I hope I don't feel like a dog. I love Madonna. Guys, you know I love Madonna. That is possibly the worst lyric, dog, um, ever. I mean, I know it's an American word, but um, I just don't get it. So, yeah, please don't sing that song, Madonna. Madam X, you couldn't see it. I'm not being on pet. So we've just arrived in New York. Literally um, took a little while to get the bags, but not too long. Um, we're just in the Uber and I'm on my way. I've arrived in Brooklyn, um, a day ahead of the Madam X Madonna show, which is starting. Um, the countdown is on, but I'm, I'm a bit disappointed today. I hope the rumors aren't true. The set list, you know, there's always rumors about the set list and what's in, what's out. And today we've heard that Rescue Me, which was in, is now out. If this is the case, there's going to be a lot of disappointed fans again. Just to recap, remember she postponed the actual opening night to this tomorrow. Thankfully I managed to change my ticket. Thankfully I'm here and um, it's going to be great um, and I'll be excited to see the Queen. So, countdown's begun. Today is the day of the Madam X opening night. As you know, if you've been following Madonna, there's no cameras allowed um, into the show tonight. Controversial, no phones. I think the only good thing we can do today is go to the Madonna pop-up shop and have a look to see what goodies are in there. Guys, we're outside of the Madonna shop. I'm very excited. It's literally just over. Let's get amongst it. Let's have a look. bought two t-shirts um, and I could have bought lots more but it's not the cheapest but you know she's worth it. Eye patches are $30 each so I think I might just ring Gabrielle and ask her if I can borrow hers. Oh so I've got a bit of anxiety I'm not gonna lie. My heart's racing a bit but my hair looks nice so you know what the, f what the fuck. Guys, I'm back. Madam X opening night, 17th of September, the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Right, so the time is 
I've just gone back to my hotel. Why? Why is it so late, you're saying? Our queen didn't actually come on stage until quarter past ten. Lots of people seem to be running about, opening night jitters, we'll give her that. Shall we? Actually, I wasn't too bothered. What what was weird, but again didn't bother us. I didn't we weren't allowed phones, as you know. Uh, the Queen herself decided that um, it was a good idea that we would be in the present with her, uh, which we all were, apart from the odd one or two who got kicked out. Zero tolerance, zero tolerance on phones. Oot! We had to put them in these pouches and then they're locked. It was really quite clever actually. Not really clever because they're just basically security tags from like um, Asda, like that lock your pouch shut. Um, anyway, I don't want to give too many spoilers away because so, I know a lot of you guys want to go and see the show or you've already got tickets for the show. Um, so what I will say is some of the set list that was printed wasn't actually correct and some of it was. I'm going to tell you my standout parts of the show. Big news, Madonna plays piano in one of the songs. Which song? was my favourite the whole show. It's gonna be Frozen. Now when I when I heard Madonna was doing Frozen again, I was like, oh I love the song but I think she did it in on Sticking Sweet Part 2, Drown World. I need to stop yawning. Drown World. Oh reinvention. Chills. Chills. Next after Frozen, meddling was amazing. One, two, cha cha cha. That was another standout. Other pluses, um so Rescue Me is not um is, is in the show, but it's actually not a big part of the show, it's a intermission. Is that what they call them? Where you know like Madonna was on the stage and um, when she did it. And um, but it was it was good. The dancers on that were incredible. So that's something to look forward to. I'm sorry I'm tired. It's been a, a stressful day. Like Crave was the remix version and it was towards the end and it was really good. Loved it. There's a few surprises, a few family members. They pop up uh, in a few songs and on the videos. Okay, so these are the parts that I wasn't keen on, okay? The show itself seems really disjointed it seems like it doesn't flow, which is really weird because like all other Madonna tours, you know, everything seems to have flown musically. Uh, but this just for some reason, like every song is different. It doesn't seem as though it's kind of got any structure to it. It seems to be like God control and another message for another song. It, it's like, it's a bit weird. It's, I can't put my finger on it, but I'm sure you guys in the comments well, let me know if you saw this tonight what did you think apart from being disjointed the set wasn't you know anything i haven't already seen on instagram and um, but the the actual projection was good uh, really really good and when she sang frozen um it was amazing not a spoiler because uh, you know but if you've got tickets down the middle of the um, theatre, you're going to be happy. That's all I'm saying. Um, another highlight that was actually a big surprise, um, the, I don't know how it says, but Batuka, Batuka, Batuka women uh, were fantastic. Um, they sang on a few, few songs, really, 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 really good. Oh yeah, so there was a guy who Madonna basically befriended his gran and then, anyway, she's passed away, R.I.P. Um, and the guy is on the guitar and he is unbelievable. Um, so Madonna sang with him. There was a lot of different influences in the tour, different, as you know, with the album. Did it all work together? I'm not sure. I loved every bit of it. I just don't know if I loved it all together. Um, and I did see Jamie King. But yeah, it was totally different, very intimate. She sounded unreal, really, really good. Um, and she danced great, you know. Um, but I just think, actually human nature is really good as well. 
Um, I didn't think I was going to like human nature because I bought it get that but it was good if you've seen any of the promo for the, the album you know when she's done pride and uh, eurovision and stuff then you probably have seen some of the show and um, but there's a lot and lots to still see and there's lots to um to be excited for because it is a good show um, and it, and it her words were the show isn't finished properly yet and I kind of understood what she meant. It is finished, but it's. I know it's going to be a lot better. She seemed a bit nervous, but she seemed like she was enjoying herself, and that's what we like our queen to do. So um, I don't want. I'm trying not to give you too many spoilers, but I would say if you haven't got tickets, it definitely is worth seeing. Uh, but don't be expecting um, the confessions to her. It's totally, totally different. It's got a story. Um, but it is a bit disjointed but I loved it it was worth coming all the way to New York for so thank you guys for watching and get your tickets from Adam X Oosh. <laughs>